Hi! In this chapter, we will discuss about authentication profile, password profiles, admin roles. We also create a new admin user and assign a custom role to user. We also configure hostname, banner, and much more. Please watch the video till end. An authentication profile defines the authentication service that validates the login credentials of administrators who access the firewall and end users who access applications through Captive Portal or Global Protect. The service can be local authentication or external authentication services, such as TACAX Plus and RADIUS. The authentication profile also defines options, such as Kerberos Single Sign and LDAP. Now we will talk about password profiles. Password profiles determine the properties and requirements of the passwords that are used to log in into Palo Alto. For example, the password profile ensure that administrators will change their password on a regular basis. Let's create a new password profile and assign this password profile to the admin account. Log in on Palo Alto with admin privilege and move on device tab. Now click Password Profiles and then click on Add Option. Now give a name to Password Profile. Required Password Change Option ensure that administrators change their password on a regular basis specified by a number of days. For example, if the value is set to 30, administrators will be prompted to change their passwords in every 30 days. Expiration warning period option can be used to prompt the user to change their password at each login as the forced password change date approaches. Let's set expiration warning period to 25. Post expiration admin login count option. Allow the administrator to log in a specified number of times after their account has expired. For example, if the value is set to three and their account has expired, they can log in three more times before their account is locked out. Post-expiration grace period option allow the administrator to log in the specified number of days after their account has expired. After configuring the parameters, click OK to save. Now we talk about administrator option. We also create a new administrator account and assign password profile to new admin user. Administrator accounts control access to firewalls and panorama. A firewall administrator can have full or read-only access to a single firewall or to a virtual system on a single firewall. Firewalls have a predefined admin account that has full access. To add an administrator, click on Add option. Give a login name to the administrator. The name is case sensitive and must be unique. Use only letters, numbers, hyphens, periods, and underscores. Login names cannot start with a hyphen. Select an authentication profile for administrator authentication. You can use this setting for RADIUS, TACAX Plus, LDAP, Kerberos, SAML, or local database authentication. Enter and confirm a case-sensitive password for the administrator. Assign a role to this administrator. The role determines what the administrator can view and modify. If you select role-based, select a custom role profile from the dropdown. If you select dynamic, you can select one of the predefined roles. Superuser has full access to the firewall and can define new administrator accounts and virtual systems. You must have superuser privileges to create an administrative user with superuser privileges. Superuser read only. User only has read only access to the firewall. device administrator has full access to all firewall settings except for defining new accounts or virtual systems.
device administrator with read-only privileges has only read access to all firewall settings except password profiles and administrator accounts. Only the logged-in account is visible. Dot here I am creating a super user. Now select the password profile if required. Role-based, custom roles you can configure for more granular access control over the functional areas of the web interface, CLI, and XML API. For example, you can create an admin role profile for your operations staff that provides access to the firewall and network configuration areas of the web interface and a separate profile for your security administrators that provides access to security policy definitions, logs, and reports. We will create a custom role-based profile later in this chapter. Don't forget to commit the changes. Let's try to log in with newly created account. You can see that I am successfully able to log in into Firewall with newly created user. Now let's discuss about custom admin roles. Admin roles option is used to define admin role profiles which are custom roles that determine the access privileges and responsibilities of administrative users. First, we will discuss about all three predefined profiles, and then we create a custom profile with limited privileges. Let's start with Audit Admin. The Audit Administrator is responsible for the regular review of the firewall's audit data. Crypto Admin. The cryptographic administrator is responsible for the configuration and maintenance of cryptographic elements related to the establishment of secure connections to the firewall. Security admin. The security administrator is responsible for all other administrative tasks, such as creating security policy. Now we will create a monitor only profile that allow an administrator to access monitor tab only. To add an admin role profile, click Add and specify the settings as per instructions. Enter a name to identify this administrator role. The name is case sensitive and must be unique. Now we will only enable monitor tab by selecting and enabling with enable option. We will disable rest of the access using disable option.
lets us create a test user and attach monitor only role profile with test user. Now apply the changes on device and try to log in with test user once commit is completed. You can see that test user have access to dashboard and monitor tab only. In the next video, we will configure banner, hostname, and much more. So keep watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe our channel.